Hello folks, my name is Bob Strachan, I'm a Principal Solutions Architect here at AWS and in this short demo I'm going to show you how to set up PII Redaction, that's Personally Identifiable Information Redaction dynamically using Amazon S3 Object Lambda. You're going to want to do this if you have text files stored in S3 such as transcriptions of customer calls to your contact center for example or maybe customer emails which may or may not contain um, information like bank account IDs, credit card numbers, social security numbers, even names and addresses that you need to be very careful um, about controlling access to. Uh, we're going to use this uh, solution to automatically detect which files contain PII to restrict access to the files that do contain PII while providing redacted versions of those files with some or all of the PII removed uh, to other applications. It's a very simple setup process. I'm going to show how that works in the demo. We're going to start with an existing S3 bucket that contains a text file with some PII elements in it. We're going to create a standard S3 access point. That's step one. Step two is we're going to create an S3 object lambda access point that's configured to use a redacting function. And then we will retrieve the file via that new uh, S3 object lambda access point to see how the information is dynamically redacted as we retrieve it. Okay, let's launch straight into the demo. So here's my S3 bucket. I've got a sample call transcript in this S3 bucket. We'll take a quick look at it. And you can see it does contain some PII elements. There's a credit card number here. Um, there's some other information, names, phone numbers, etc. Some of the PII here would be very hard to detect with the traditional rules-based system. For example, these four digits here um, happen to be the last four digits of a social security number. But really the only way to know that is with an accurate language system that can look at the contacts. So step one is to create an access point. So we'll go over here to the menu, do create access point. We're going to give it a name. Put in our bucket name. We're going to say we'll do it on the internet. And that's all we need to do, create access point. Step two is to create the S3 object lambda access point. We do that from the menu here on the left. Create object lambda access point. We give it a name. Scroll down. Now we have to link this to the access point we just created. It's called the supporting access point. So let's browse S3. We can see there's a standard access point that we just created in step one. So now we've linked it to our object lambda access point. Scroll down a little bit more. We do need to deploy a, a built-in Lambda function now to do the redaction. This is very easy. We're going to um, click this little Deploy button. We're going to choose PII Redaction and we'll click Create Lambda Function. This takes us automatically to the serverless application repository where we have a pre-built version of, of the Lambda function that we need to do the redaction. If we scroll down here a little bit, you'll see that it's got some parameters. We can just leave the default name right now. If you want to create more than one of these, you need to give them unique names, but we'll just leave the default for now. Uh, you can leave most of these at the default. Um, we'll scroll on down. You can choose whether you want to replace the PII with little asterisk characters here, mass characters, or whether you want to replace it with a label that identifies the entity type. We'll just leave it at the defaults for now. And then here you can choose which PII entities you want to redact. By default, it's going to redact them all. And we we'll just leave it at the default. But if you want it to be um, a little bit more specific about which types of information you want to remove from the file, you can specify a comma separated list of PII entity types. I'm looking at the Comprehend documentation here, and you can see there's a list of all the possible PII types. So you could just copy and paste from here to create a comma separated list. If maybe you're only interested in redacting phone numbers or social security numbers, you can do that. But for now, we'll just leave it to all. We have to click the little Acknowledge button here to say it's going to create an IAM rule, and we click Deploy, and within a few seconds it will have deployed the Lambda function. So the Lambda function is now deployed. Let's go back to the S3 console and complete the creation of our access point. We'll just hit the Refresh button here so that it picks up our new Lambda function. Here it is here, Comprehend PII Redaction function. We'll select that. We can leave everything else here at the defaults. We'll scroll on down to the bottom and we'll click Create Object Lambda Access Point. And that's it. Two steps and we're there. We now have the S3 Object Lambda Access Point. Let's just go ahead and try it, make sure that it works. So we're now going to look at our object from within our 
S3 object, lambda access point, we can see the same file that we saw when we just looked at our S3 bucket. Um, we'll take a look at the contents of the file. Let's open it up. And now you will notice that instead of seeing personally identifiable information, it's been masked by these little mask characters that we saw when we configured the Lambda. And that's the end of our demo, folks. For more information, you can go to the blog post linked here, amazon.com slash s3ol-pii. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the demo.